हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट टी सी पी कंजक्शन कंट्रोल कंसेप्ट विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मैंशन द लिंक ऑफ कंप्लीट कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क प्ले लिस्ट इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ना इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज टाइप्स एंड फंक्शन ऑफ सॉकेट लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन यू कैन लर्न अबाउट वॉट एक्जैक्टली सॉकेट देर आर टाइप्स दे आर डिफरेंट फंक्शन and at the end we will discuss a question bank now the first point is what exactly socket so basically as we discussed earlier in computer network there are multiple devices are present consider that there is a one sender and another one is a receiver so socket is a communication end point in computer network between sender and the receiver consider here in this particular example this is a sender and this is a receiver so sender send a particular message through socket and receiver give reply to the particular socket so this is a concept of socket this is a communication end point and two computers communicate with each other through socket this socket identify ip address and port number of particular application for example see here in this diagram there is a port number 69 69 port number generally useful to transfer the file and sender want to transfer a particular file so at that time ip address and port number this information have stored into the socket which is also called as socket address so basically socket is a bridge between application layer and transport layer of osi model let's see some examples of socket for example in web browsing when you open a particular website your browser use socket to connect to the server on port number 80 that is http protocol and the browser request a web page data and server send it back over the same socket connection so this is a one kind of socket another one is a email email application generally used to socket for sending and receiving emails they use smtp protocol that is simple mail transfer protocol at port number 25 port number 25 generally used to send email and receive email on the same mail server another example is chatting application there are different types of messaging apps like whatsapp telegram so they use a socket to maintain a persistent connection with the server for real time messaging enabling users to send and receive message message instantly another example is online gaming multiple players are there they use a socket to communicate between different players to communicate between different servers and different games so enable all types of movements and interaction socket uh, particular things are used so basically socket used everywhere in every communication where sender and receivers are included now the next point is types of socket so in computer network there are total two types of socket stream socket and datagram socket we already discussed tcp and udp protocol in previous session so generally stream socket they provide the connection oriented communication means there is a guaranteed delivery that receiver receive information accurately and stream socket also provide the full duplex communication channel full duplex means sending and receiving both operations are performed at the same time so generally stream socket you useful for transferring large amount of data such as file transfers different video streamings are there and different uh, web browsers email clients and online gaming are there so at large amount of data purpose and accurate delivery purpose stream socket is used on the another side there is a datagram socket so datagram socket generally is a connection less service there is a no guarantee that order or accurate delivery at the receiver side so this is a unreliable service provider generally datagram socket used when speed has a more priority according the reliability just take some example like live video streaming live conference online video sessions online gaming so there is a speed is important as per the reliability so at that time datagram socket is used now the next point is socket functions see there is a socket programming and socket programming is very much popular in computer network and java programming generally used to execute socket functions so there are different socket functions are used for performing the communication between client and the server 
the first one is a socket function socket function generally used to create new socket for communication next one is a bind so bind function generally use they attach ip address and port number of particular host system suppose server want to send response to the client so they include the ip address and suppose they want to send file so port number 69 is there suppose they want to sell port number 25 is there so bind means they attach ip address and port number next function is listen function so server listen function is work to ready to receive a connection from the client next one is a connect function so connect function generally used to establish the connection between the two devices next one is accept function accept means confirmation here server accepting the connection with client means they accept the proper connection they try to accept the all the data that the client want to send next function is send and receive so basically send function work to send data over connected socket or accurate receiver and receive function is used to receive data over connected socket from accurate sender and last one is a close function so close function generally used to close the socket close the communication and terminate the connection so these all functions are used in socket programming to provide accurate communication between client and the server now as per your exam point of view what exactly socket types of socket and different functions uses socket so these all are the important question for 7 marks so thank you keep learning